Today's devotional is entitled, We Are Growing. We are all growing, and some of us were able to physically see it, and then others we really can't. And you, you take a picture of, of your children, uh, let's say this, you take a picture of your children, and you wait a couple weeks and then take another picture, you're going to see that growth from those two pictures. It's going to be very, very apparent. Sometimes we're growing physically, sometimes we're growing outwardly, sometimes we're growing in our jobs and our relationships, but we all are growing jobs, relationships, communities, you name it. And sometimes growth is painful. It can be very extreme in other cases, and it can also be very, very beautiful. You see, painful growth is something that we all encounter. Growth in a relationship uh, where people grow away from each other if the relationship isn't built on Jesus. Growth can also be very extreme. You, you hear about diseases that can grow at an exponential speed uh, or even an ex exponential rate. Cancers that can ravage a body in a matter of hours or days. And growth in a sickness that can go from a minor discomfort to full-blown hospital visit in just a matter of hours. You see, growth is also very, very beautiful. You get to see your kids grow up. You get to you see relationships built upon the truth of God or a church family. You see growth everywhere you, you go. It is inevitable. One of the few things in this world that we're going to see is growth, and it's going to happen. But see, as a Christian, our physical and mental growth is important, but our spiritual growth is more important, and it's the key to our lives. And it's going to be, a, it's, it's vital for fruitful and productive life. You see in Colossians chapter two, verses six through seven, it says, therefore, as you received Christ Jesus, the Lord, so walk in him, rooted and built up in him and established in the faith, just as you were taught abounding in thanksgiving. You see here, Paul tells us what happens when we put our faith and trust firmly in God, that our spiritual growth will begin and it's going to happen. You see, when we are rooted up and built up in him, we're able to grow strong and healthy. You see, if our roots are not that strong, we're not going to be able to weather the situations in our lives. But strong roots allows us to go through seasons in our lives, being firm in the Lord, knowing that the trials and tribulations are simply that. They're just tests. And we see in James chapter 1, verses 2 and 3, it says, Count it all joy, my brothers, when you meet trials of various kinds. For you know that their testing of your faith produces steadfastness. It is supposed to be something that we count with all joy. That we are going to encounter trials and tribulations and all sorts of different things. But when we have roots that are built firmly upon the trust and faith of Jesus, we're able to weather those situations. It doesn't matter if it's a it's a loss of a job or a loss of a home or, or a family member that passes away. Whatever that loss is, being firmly rooted in Christ will allow us to go through these with an unwavering faith. You see, when we start to grow, we're able to establish ourselves in our faith. And having faith that is firmly rooted in Christ helps us grow closer to God and allows us to show our faith to others in our actions and words. You see in Psalms verses one, verse three, it says, he is like a tree planted by streams of water that yields its fruit in the season and its leaf does not wither. And all that he does, he prospers. You see, having roots that are strong is great, but without seeing the foliage of these trees, the outward appearances that we have people cannot see our faith and hope in Jesus. You see, when we are established in our faith, the false doctrines of this world cannot sway us. Our faith should overflow so much with gratitude, with encouragement, with joy, that everyone can see where we are growing. That we're growing in Jesus and not in the world. And when we start to grow, we're going to also abound with thanksgiving. You see, our growth in Jesus not only allows us to grow deep, deep roots and grow our faith, but also gives us an opportunity to abound in thanksgiving in all aspects of our lives. You see, it's so easy to be thankful when life is going amazing. 
to win all the accolades, all the awards, all the money, everything is just coming towards us. All of the praise in the world is coming your way. It's so easy to be thankful for that. When life is literally in our eyes, just perfect. But Paul here says that we abound in Thanksgiving, not just in the good times, but in all times. When we lose a job, be, be thankful. When we lose a family member, be thankful. In every single situation in our lives, we have to be thankful. You see in Ephesians chapter five, verses 19 and 20, Paul says, addressing one another in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing and making melody to the Lord with all of your heart, giving thanks always and for everything to God the Father in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. He says here, giving thanks always, not just when you feel like it, not when things are going well, but in all aspects of our lives. That when we start to grow, thanksgiving for all things becomes so much easier that we start to realize that the trials and tribulations are really opportunities to not succumb to the moments, but to rise above, to praise and give thanks to God. See guys, growth happens. It's inevitable. But how we go through the growth will determine who we are at the core. And it's not going to affect us, but going to affect those around us. That when we grow in the wrong ways and the wrong things, the outward is going to reflect this. You see in Galatians chapter 5, 16 through 17, Paul says, But I say, walk in the spirit, and you will not gratify to the desires of the flesh. For the desires of the flesh are against the spirit, and the desires of the spirit are against the flesh. For they are opposed to each other to keep you from doing the things that you want to do. Our roots will show the fruit of our lives. That what we decide to grow in, whether it's the world or the spirit, is going to reflect our fruit to others. When we want to grow closer to God and we want to make this growth a priority in our lives, our roots are going to run deep. Our fruit will be healthy and we will be able to have joy in Thanksgiving. But when our roots run deep in this world, it's not going to be healthy. You're going to be able to be tossed and swayed from every single situation that happens in your life, like a leaf blowing in the wind. When we seek the Lord though, the Lord seeks us and helps us to grow. You see in Jeremiah 29 verse 13, he says, you will seek me and find me when you seek me with all of your heart. And we make it a point to seek God when it comes to matters of growth, our roots will run deep. Our roots will run strong. And the foliage, the fruits that come from those roots are going to be seen by everybody that the trials and tribulations of this world will be opportunities to grow in faith, to grow in trust and hope and in, in, in love. And yes, it might stink at times when you're going through these situations, but your roots can help somebody else grow their roots as well. When you're going through these in rising above the situation, they're able to get themselves out of those murky waters as well. That is our devotional for today. We are growing.